MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Ought to be a good one here between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Milwaukee Brewers. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. He will lead this one off today. The 3-1. Swung on and missed. A full count now. We'll be in the 80s later this afternoon, but for now, 79 degrees at first pitch. Slow roller, left side. Fielded cleanly. And there's one down now. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Dexter Fowler. Dexter. One out, nobody on. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that same pitch. You could tell he jelly-legged him at the plate a little bit. Froze him, but just missed the zone. Over to Smoke at first, and there are two away. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the big bat of Paul Goldschmidt. Now the 2-1. Filed off wide at first, but boy, that had some zip on it. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. And a full count to Paul Goldschmidt. Three balls and two strikes. Boy, not what you want coming out of the gate as a pitcher, right? You don't want to have to show. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. And into hit next is Lorenzo Kane. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. High and deep down the left field line. A ball that's carrying. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gone! Late now, Brock Holt. And that misses two and one. No outs, nobody on. All even now, two and two. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. And here's Christian Yelich now. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Base hit into right center. Into the box now, Keston Hiura. He swings and misses, throw down. And it'll be right on the bag as Molina nails him, trying to swipe second. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Three and two, full count. Now the payoff pitch home. And it's fouled away. The next 3 2. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Matt Carpenter, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. The 1 1 home. And that misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. 
So that brings in the power hitting middle infielder Paul DeYoung. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. Lofted in the air out toward right center. After it is Yelich. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Yachty Molina digging in now. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Two balls and a strike to Molina. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Standing in now, Tyler O'Neill. Shot toward right center. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one, if not both of them home. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base and they're loaded with one away. Batting eight, the center fielder, number 35, Lane Thomas. At the plate now, Lane Thomas. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Unable to find the zone with the slider. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Yelich is after it. But he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. And to score from third, the tying run. Into the box, Jack Flaherty. Cardinals pitcher up there with a one and two count. Fouled off. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. He spoils another one and will do it again. The 2 2 one more time is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So it's back to the top now of the back. order now. Let and that'll beat. bring up Colton Wong. Wong. Here's the 1-1. One, one. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Wong is slugging a little under the 400 mark, so the chances of his connecting with the ball right here aren't... Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Last half of the second set to go, and next will be the power-hitting catcher, Omar Narvaez. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. This one's down to third. Taken in by Carpenter. And that's the first down. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up Avisayu Garcia. The 2-2. Two -two. Grounder down the line at third. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2-2. Two and two. A full count, three balls and two strikes. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring in utility man extraordinaire Eric Sogard. Breaking ball that drops in for a strike. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. 
Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Full count still. The next 3 2. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Digging in now for the Brewers, Justin Smoke. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in, jam, sandwich. And he fouls this one off. Another one two delivery inside and a hair low it's two balls and two strikes. Well he's been laboring a bit through these first two innings of work that's 37 pitches and ideally he'd be closer to 27 instead. Now the three and two pitch and he may be starting to lose the feel here as that misses for ball four and that's back to back walks now with two away. The pitcher Adrian Hauser. One and two to the Brewers pitcher. Got him swinging and that will end the inning. Ball set for the start of the inning and standing in is the veteran outfielder Dexter Fowler. The one one home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Lays off two and two now. Here it comes. He stays alive, still two and two. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And he will make it there as the Cardinals get a man into scoring position on the leadoff double. Now batting the first base. Paul Goldschmidt. Stepping in now, Paul Goldschmidt. Called strike in a dangerous location there, one and two. And that misses two and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Matt Carpenter waits on deck. And the payoff pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third. Sogard is there. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Digging in now will be Matt Carpenter. Nine at bats for him in the series so far, and he's collected a pair of hits. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. to the plate now Paul DeYoung and there's a line drive base hit to left field McKechnie, number four. Yadier Molina. so now to the plate Yadier Molina hit out towards second and Molina's aboard a base hit and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now now batting the left fielder, Tyler O'Neill. And now, Tyler O'Neill. Fastball just missed above the zone. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. Three and one to the Cardinals' left fielder. You fight so hard to get into these type of counts, you can't let this pitch get away from you. You have to keyhole something middle of the plate. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Now 
Ready now, Lane, Lane Thomas. He reached on oh. a single in his first try. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Grounded back up the middle. And this scoots under his glove. Oh, what a time for that. And tack on one more, make it a four-to-one lead. The pitcher, number 22, Jack Flaherty. Standing in now, Jack Flaherty. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Ready with two balls and a strike. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Yelich is under it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. Top of the throw will be well up the line as he scores easily. Colton Wong will stand in. The batter, the second baseman, Colton Wong. The 1-1 one -one home. That's lifted the other way out to left. Garcia has a read on it, and the inning is over. Bottom of the third now, and next it'll be the outfielder, Lorenzo Kane. The last at bat, Matty V. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. Brock Holt will be next. Now the three and two pitch. This is line to left. O'Neill is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up the versatile utility man, Brock Holt. Brewer shortstop ahead with a three and one count. Waiting next, there's Christian Yelich. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Back goes Thomas. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up Christian Yelich. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Can't connect there. It's two and two. The M.O. of this pitcher in the early going is certainly establishing the inside part of the plate. He has been dominant. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat if a guy can effectively, consistently pitch inside like he is. Bounce to the right into the loaded up infield. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Brent Suter answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Standing in, Dexter Fowler. His career numbers in this matchup, he's only two for ten. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Here's the 2 2. Well, the 1 2 pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on 2 and 2. You know he doesn't want this at bat to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Up next to the 
ready to take his hacks again. Matt Carpenter as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked and he turned that thing around and it got out of here in a hurry. Now the 2-1. This is lined to left. But this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out. So Paul DeYoung digs in next. Fowler, the runner at first with two gone. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Pitcher's got options here. He looked a little bit out front. Might be able to rush a fastball by him. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. Throw on to smoke at first, and the side is retired. So here's the cleanup hitter, Keston Hiera. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Ready to deliver the one and two. Ripped on the ground to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So striding in, Omar Narvaez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Look into Molina, now the 1-1. One, one. I got two one to Five one our score as we play the fourth here. The count is two and two to the Brewers catcher. And this foul tip is held onto by Molina. A fine play there by the veteran backstop to help record the punch out. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. The count now at two and two. Here it comes. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. All ready to go in the top of the fifth, and now it'll be the catcher, Yadier Molina. I mean, Yadi, when he first broke on the scene, was a defender first and foremost. You can't say that anymore. I mean, he's evolved into a really, really nice offensive player. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now so the bases are empty with one man gone. And into bat next will be Tyler O'Neill. The 1-1. One, one. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. hit hard towards center and that's in for a base hit his second in his many trips to the plate now that the center fielder Lane Thomas into the box now Lane Thomas he's fallen behind now three and one Now that ball's hit well, deep down the left field line, headed toward the foul pole, and it's gone! Into the box, Jack Flaherty. Popped up, smoke in foul ground, and this will not be caught, it's a foul ball. Popped him up. Navarez is there and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Here's Colton Wong now. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Two out nobody on. And it misses three and one now. 
it's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at 3-1, and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Here's Dexter Fowler now. It was a walk in his last trip. Here now the 2-2. High in the air out to center field. And Kane will make the catch, and the side is retired. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring in utility man extraordinaire Eric Sogard. The 3 1. Ooh, and heads up as this is pulled foul. And that misses ball four now to lead off walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Here's Justin Smoke now. He's two for seven in the series so far. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Brent Suter. First at bat of the game for him here in the fifth as he was a late entrant into this one. Got it back in time there, and it's two and one. Great decision there to pull back. Step number one in getting a sacrifice bunt down, make sure you bunt a pitch that you can handle. Shows bunt here, but this one misses ball three. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Another full count pitch home. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Thomas is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first back to the top of the order now and that'll bring up the center fielder Lorenzo Kane. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right and a great diving effort there but it'll just tip off his glove and it's a base hit and now this is thrown wildly just getting it into the infield. to the plate now Brock Holt a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap back goes Thomas at the track he's got it and they get out of the jam unscathed Top half of the sixth about to get started and set to go is the veteran first baseman Paul Goldschmidt. The 1 1. Hard hit toward the hole. And he'll have himself a leadoff single as this is through into left. The back, the third baseman, Matt Carpenter. At the plate, Matt Carpenter seared down the first baseline. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him a base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. The bat, number 11, shortstop, Paul DeYoung. In now, Paul DeYoung. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. Striding into the box, Yadier Molina. He was a ground down victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. One run is scored. He pulls into second safely as two runs come across to score away from the play. J.P. Fire gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Number 76. So now to the plate, Tyler O'Neill, and it's fouled away.
drilled right back up the middle and that's through into center field base hit as he arrives at second without a play as they also score a pair of runs on the play stepping in now Lane Thomas fastball well outside Fastball swung on and hit to second. Scooped up, and a good throw gets him one gone. So in now is the Cardinals pitcher, Jack Flaherty. Four runs already across and a chance to make it five right here. The 1-1 one -one home. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Garcia has a read on it. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice line. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Colton Wong. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. Now the one and one pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. him up. Navarez waits on it. And that retires the side. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And up next, the sweet swing and left-handed hitting outfielder Christian Yelich. The 1-1. One -one. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. Called strike two. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Fouled off. And he fouls this one off. A bouncer to the left side. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Ryan Helsley takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Captain, you're up. At the plate now, Keston Hiura. And he misses again, ball three. Omar Narvaez will be next. Full count now. One run, four hits. One error thus far in the game for Milwaukee. Hard hit to first. One there. Yeah. On to first, so he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And next to hit is the catcher, Omar Narvaez. Now the one and one pitch. It's taken below the zone for a ball. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Two and two now. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulder. Side retired. Seventh inning ready to roll. And that'll bring in the switch hitting outfielder Dexter Fowler. Can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. Now the pitch. And he'll try to entice him with the change up here, but it dips below the knees. It's two and fastball laid off well below the knees. 
On deck, the powerful right-handed bat of Paul Goldschmidt. And here's the 3-2 from him. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now at the plate, Paul Goldschmidt. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. hit hard on the ground towards second. He's got it. Over to Smoke at first, and there are two away. Here's Matt Carpenter. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. I think he's forgotten about sometimes, Matt Carpenter. When we talk about the best hitters in our sport, I think he's one of the more underrated offensive players. Two balls and a strike to Matt Carpenter. Two out, nobody on. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And when you're already down by a bunch, this is where a guy's got to take some responsibility out there and at least start throwing some strikes. Fielded cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So here's Abisayu Garcia. Fouled away. The 3 2 one more time. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Thomas has it for route number one. Here's Eric Sogard. It was a walk in his last trip. Bases are empty, one man out. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Now here's the pitch. Uh, just tried to freeze him with the fastball there. Pretty close. It's two and two. Too high. Ball three. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Thomas is there now and he has it two gone. So the switch hitter Justin Smoke steps up. He went down on strikes last time up. One run, four hits. One error thus far in the game for Milwaukee. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. And this is sliced hard down the left field line. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Ryan Braun will look to provide a little two-out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. David Phelps comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring in the Illinois State product, Paul DeYoung. 1-1 is in there for the second strike. The 1-2 offering looked like a slider that time, but it's 2-2. Two 
There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Kane going back. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. Into the box now, Yadier Molina. Grounded down the third baseline. Fielded by Sogard. Throw in the dirt, but Smoke able to dig it out. Nicely done, and they get the out at first. Now batting. Striding in, Tyler O'Neill. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Yelich is under it, and that's the second out of the inning. Now with the plate, Lane Thomas. Three for four so far and seeing it well in this ball game. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And it's fouled away. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. The one-two is a fastball that misses. A runner on first with two away. Fouled off. The 2 2 one more time. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Lorenzo Kane. Look into Molina now. The one-one. Ball two. Two balls, one strike. Hit back up the middle, and a base hit. So the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Now batting. Good stop. At the plate, Brock Holt, and he fouls this one off. The one two a bouncer up the middle de Young's got it long for one on the first and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now next for Milwaukee Christian Yelich he's two for three thus far one and two for Christian Yelich gotta love a reliever that comes in firing bullets and his fastball is a good one. Hit sharply on the ground. DeYoung fields it cleanly. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. All set to start the ninth in this one. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Colton Wong. Two and two count. Here it comes. And here's a slider. Strike three called. And that'll be the first out of the inning. Digging in the switch White hitter, Cooper. Dexter Fowler. Dexter. He comes into this appearance Fowler. in the midst of a one-for-four day. Fouled away. Here he comes again, one-two. To two balls and two strikes now. One out, nobody on. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Now in the box, Paul Goldschmidt. First two men in the Paul. inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Goldschmidt swings and hits this one very well out to deep left field. And it's gone as they add still another. Corey Knable enters now in a mop up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. In now, Matt Carpenter. A ball and two strikes. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. 
grounded to short. And that's in there for a base hit, his third hit of the game. Now back, the shortstop, Paul DeYoung. Standing in now, Paul DeYoung. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Cody Whitley, the six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. And in at the plate steps Keston Huron. The 1 1 home is a high drive to left, back toward the wall, but he's going to run out of room. It's gone! Stepping in now, Omar Narvaez, line to the right side. Solid base hit for him, his first of the afternoon. Now batter, left fielder, Avisail. So now to the plate, Avisail Garcia. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. Takes this the other way to right. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batter, third baseman, Eric. Into the box, Eric Sogard. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Looks like he <laughs> swung it underwater that time for strike two. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and he pops him up. DeYoung into shallow center. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Now batting, Justin Smoke. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. John Gant enters from the bullpen, hoping to get the final two outs and put this one into the win column. Ben Gamble will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 16, Ben Gamble. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Looking at his career totals, Gamble is slugging a little under the 400 mark, so the chances of his connecting with the ball right here aren't particularly good. So it was a strikeout looking there. Ben Gamble goes down, and they've got only one out left to work with. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to 2-1 and one now. And that's upstairs running the count to three and one. Two on, two out with the base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here. And get a dive, but it's off his glove. The Brewers down to their final strike. Throw to first will be in time to record the final out, and the Cardinals will put an end to their three-game skid as this ball game is over. 14 to 3 is the final score in this one. The St. Louis Cardinals get the win on the heels of four home runs. Jack Flaherty earns his eighth victory of the season. Adrian Hauser worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.
time of the ball game, four hours and 19 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.